now you've got two other ones for your hips and glutes. So the glue one, what I do, listen, the safest one, because this covers people who have got disc problems and back pain and tightness, the safest one, what I would do, is put one leg up on something. Now, it doesn't have to be a rig like this, because hey, the gym's shut, right? So you won't be having something like this at home. You've probably got maybe a sofa or a wall or even an open door. But what you do is get yourself in a position where you can get close to something. So this might be close to a, the end of a sofa, right? Or the edge of the wall and the door was open, that sort of thing. Even this could be a big leg of your kitchen table, right? Have one leg down, which keeps you sort of neutral in your lower back, which is good for those disky people. And then you put the other leg up on top of here and bring it down. Now, to get the right amount of stretch for your right hip, I've got my right leg up on the pole, right glute, right hip, I need to be in the right position here. So you may have to shuffle up and down to get the right amount of stretch here. Now, you know, I did legs today, so I can feel this already. But this stretch here, you're trying to get your foot straight up on there, almost sort of 90 degree parallel with the shin, and then you can feel that stretch in your glute. Now, for this one, this is a bit of a hip glute one. I push that out and ram that out that way, and that's gonna give me a really big opening stretch through my hips. That takes away some of the tension in my lower back. I'm gonna feel a lot better in my lower back by loosening up the muscles that are connected to my lower back, which is your glutes and your hips, hip flexors, okay? So that one there is gonna be really good. It's like a dual glute and hip joint stretch. And that's really, really helpful. You probably find it even helps with you when you're squatting down because some people get back pain because they're so tight, they're so tight in the hips when they squat they can't get down. You probably find it frees you up a bit more, stops you getting back problems. So there's a whole lot of things that that can help with, but you're doing it to loosen up this to help your lower back. Now the last one, they call this the world's greatest stretch. Now this has been done all over the internet as well. I'm gonna show you my take on it. What I want you to work on is you gotta think, I'm doing this to loosen up structures that are shortened and tight. So when you're sitting down, or sit here, when you're sitting down, you gotta think, if I'm sitting down on a computer, I'm gonna be short and tight in here. And then when you stand up, they're still short and tight, which sort of disrupts the whole mechanics and posture of your lower back. So if you can loosen up through here, hip flexors, groins, hemis, You'll just move better, you'll feel better, your back will feel better. So, go into a position as though you're kneeling, all right? So, I'm parallel with my legs. What I wanna do is slowly sort of lunge forward a little bit, okay, just a little bit, because I've gotta get my right hand down to my right foot and keep my back straight. I don't want to be rounding down like this, so I've got to keep the back straight. So right hand, right foot. Then, left hand, sit in the same position here. Almost like I'm starting a running race, if you like. So this position here, what I want to do is weight bear through my hands. So I've got to sort of put my body weight slowly through my hands. So I'm holding myself up with my hands. And if I can do that, then I can actually relax through the hips. Otherwise, if you don't do that, you're holding yourself up with your hips and you won't actually get the amount of stretch and relaxation you need. So you've got to trick your brain a bit, if you like, and let your body realize you're supported with your hands and then you can sort of let go through here. Now what you're trying to do is your front knee has to go outwards. So your <laughs> excuse me, front knee externally rotate out like that. You don't have to push it, just let it get out there until you feel that front right leg groin really stretching through. Okay, so front right leg groin really stretching. And then the left one, you're hanging there, you'll feel it in the front hip flexor. So that my left one here, I'm feeling it through a bit of the front of the thigh hip flexor. Now if you get to that point, you probably find that's enough stretch for you. You probably feel like you're breaking in half a little bit there. But if you can extend that a little bit more by squeezing your glute, so what I mean is, if I'm in this position here, from side, can you see on the back flat there? I'm gonna try and squeeze this glute here, and that'll give me more inhibition of that hip flex in the front. So if I let it go, not much. If I squeeze it, heaps more. 
Okay, so that squeeze there, if you can turn it on, gives you way more stretch through the front, and that'll give you way more release. So it's like a sort of pattern of movement. Now that opens you up here, which just means you're going to move a lot better day to day after you've been sitting down. Okay, so there's my five for you guys who are sitting at home, you're isolated at home, or you've got your home set up that's a little bit unorthodox, it's not quite as good as you had at work. Do those stretches because the last thing you want is your back going out on you in this time of crisis. So get stuck into that. Hope that helps.